Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, what I got for you today is something I kind of like to touch on a little bit about trapping beaver. Uh, I see this quite a bit in videos, I see it quite a bit in pictures, uh, and I think it's something that we need to really touch on, so uh, about caster mounds. So uh, let's flip this camera around and let's get, let's get rolling here. All right guys, I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up, but here in the we're on a bank here i don't know how well you can tell that but we're on a pretty good bank and you see a lot of guys put their caster mounds way up on top of that bank and then their trap is set way down here all right that's okay and fine and dandy but the problem with that is is that wind is coming across that caster mound and blowing that lure out across here to us now as long as that beaver's back out here Oh, 15, 20, 25 feet out into the water, that's fine. He can smell it just fine. But when he's clear down here, coming in, where's our lure, where's our scent cone? Blowing right over top of his head, so now he's lost it. He can't find it anymore unless he can see that mound, if you've got something up there for him to see. Not only that, but a caster mound way up high on the bank like that signifies an old mound. Okay, it's no longer fresh. It doesn't hold the attraction to them as, say, a mound right down here at the water's edge. And I think that's a very important thing to uh, stop and remember and stop and think about. Another thing you'll see a lot of guys do, if a beaver does have a mound up there already established, they'll go ahead and set it instead of just popping in a new one right here beside it. Now, my thoughts are, and I don't know because I've never been able to speak with a beaver for sure, or I've spoke to a lot of them, just never had any answer back, is, uh, again, that signifies an old mound. And to me, if you put in a fresh mound down here, now you're really honing in on his territorial uh, instinct. He's not too interested in that mound anymore as much as he is in this fresh one right here beside his. Now you've got him terribly upset, and you've got his attention versus setting his own mound way up there. And again, with the scent cone blowing that lure across the top of his head and over him versus blowing the lure right smack in his face. Now these are just some of my thoughts, and these are some of my, these is, this is what I practice, and it seems to work very well for me. Some of y'all might have some different experiences. All right, guys, I know that was kind of a fast little video. There wasn't a whole lot to it, but I do think there's some pretty good information there. Now, on to another subject that we have here, and that is the, the fact of uh, putting on a school for any of you that are interested in coming. Uh, I do, I believe, have a place to hold everybody. Uh, very nice accommodations. And I'm, you know, willing to, you know, I'll put everybody up. I'll feed you all. Uh, cost of it's going to be $1,000 for two and a half days of school. Um, you're going to learn anything and everything you want to know. I'm not, you know, I'm not about holding anything back on anybody for that kind of, that kind of money and, and everything. Uh, just let me know if you're interested and uh, I'll keep everybody updated. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in to watch. If you haven't yet, if you would please hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button for me, please. It means so much to me. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.